So today's video is kind of a failure on my part. You know, Elon has said, failure is an option. If you're not failing, you're not innovating enough. So let's all learn from my mistakes because that's how we grow as a person. We grow from how we, uh, we grow from things that we fail on. If you never fail, are you really pushing enough? I don't think so. What's up everybody, I'm Brian from i1 Tesla and today we're gonna have some fun with the Model Y and these wheels. These wheels are 21 inch wheels from Signature Wheels and they have a nice face on them that I wanna change up a little bit. We're gonna vinyl wrap the wheels. I'm gonna see how that goes. I've never done it before. So I got the wheel right over to here, laying on the table. I'm gonna clean this up really good, but you can see that there's a nice edge and I think I can put a piece of vinyl all the way around and I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna stop it here. I may go to the whole face and just cut out the holes or I may put knifeless tape here and go around the ring and it'll be the green vinyl, the pistachio color right on top of everything along with the tinted black. I probably will put a piece of knifeless tape here so I don't have to really cut this or stretch this inside, have that fail um, and I don't have to worry about all these because otherwise I'd have to cut in here and this, is a, this isn't really an area that I really want to put a knife. I don't want to score these up at all. I'm not sure if I'm going to wrap the edge or if I'm just, or if I'm just going to come right out to the point and maybe make points on everything, wrapping all the way over the edge because I don't know where to finish. I don't know where you go. I mean, with the tire off, you could probably wrap around there, but once you have a tire put back on, that's probably going to uh, get damaged. But first, I'm going to clean this up and uh, get it ready for the vinyl. So all I did here was take the knifeless tape, put it right above where the line is for the lug nut, for the hole for the lug nut, all the way around. Do your best that you can to get that nice and even. Now it's time for the vinyl. We're going to throw that on there, stretch everything out. All right, I think we found a piece that will work. I'm going to warm up the wheel a little bit. This way it'll stick a little bit better. And the vinyl does need to be warm as well, but we're going to heat that up a little bit before we put that down, or actually while it's down, because we're going to end up stretching this a little bit. You see it just covers it enough, just enough. So what we're going to do is pull the paper. Just gonna make sure we got coverage all over. So, all right. Now that we got good coverage here, and it's tacked down pretty much all the way around, we're gonna use the heat gun and warm up the material because. You kind of have to stretch it to the middle. This stuff isn't very thick, so it doesn't take much to heat it up. And we're gonna go right down to the middle. And it pretty much, uh, it pretty much just lays itself down. I'm softening this up even more, so now that my fingers, I don't care about the inside here. I'm really stretching it way too much in the, right down to the middle tucking it there that doesn't matter so now that this is all warm we're gonna put the glove back on and then we're gonna follow this pushing all the way down to the bottom follow these little channels all the way up really pressing down because vinyl is well it's pressure sensitive and the cool part is we don't have to worry about over here It's not like we're doing any damage to the rim whatsoever. I'm gonna take the knife, poke in here, staying away from where we know the line is. Right, so we're gonna remove that. Heat this up. See how it shrinks a little bit there? The hole got bigger. Nope. 
reason you want it to be attached past your line is when you pull the line, it needs to be secure on the other side so you get a good clean cut. Now it's time to pull the knifeless tape. There we go. We got the knifeless tape. Sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate. I'm just gonna pull this at a sharp angle back on itself. There we go. And I'm pulling out all the green. Careful of your wheels. These wheels I'm getting these, well, these these tires I'm getting replaced, so I'm not too worried. So we always start with a fresh blade. I think I'm gonna cut over here, so it's farther away from me. I'm gonna leave the tension on the wheel. So, I'm inside where the cut is. I'm riding up along the rim, but it's flat on the wheel. So it's not cutting into the finish at all. And I'm turning with the wheel. And as I get to this side, I kinda wanna pull some tension. Also, come over here because it's easier to have control this way. So we want to get in the same spot. And there. Let's do this one and this one, and we'll get an idea of what it looks like. Let's continue the same way each time. So we're going to start up here, go inside. Dragging my finger behind it and then having to turn. And as we get to here, let's rotate so we can grab this side and get tension and then we can finish the cut up here. And I think right here, I think we'll just go straight over. Right? Just a light scoring of the vinyl, not cutting through it, scoring it so we can pull straight. Cool. All right, so that's really cool. So now we want to mimic this. So we want all these the same. So let's do this. Light scoring. Just kind of measuring right off my thumb here. The thing with this is it's not probably a permanent thing. It's gonna be something that you're gonna put on and it's probably not gonna last a long time, especially in the winter time. It's gonna start peeling because there's not that much glue here. Now, if this is a wider piece, it probably would last a little bit longer or if you continued all the way around the ring and that way it has that tension, the thick spot right here, that might be kind of cool. So there you go, pulled it outside and I'll give you my first opinion, I don't like it. Maybe if I went all the way around with the rim, it might have been better, but it makes the wheel look smaller and cheaper than the regular wheel. Because this is a 21 inch wheel, and this makes it look a little smaller, especially because it's, it's coming down a half inch on either side. So it looks like a 20 inch wheel, which isn't such a bad thing. It's just bringing attention to here and not the caliper. And it's just not a good look for my car, I believe. I don't like it, <laughs> but I'm leaving this in there because I want people to try different stuff with their car. Try something like that, you know, uh, do a chrome delete with the color of the car or something different. Don't just do what everyone else is doing. Don't just do a chrome delete with a satin black. Do gloss. I think the gloss looks so much better. It looks more elegant. Um, I kind of want to do that with this, but I wanted to try this out but this looks like crap, in my opinion. Some people might like it, but the point is try something out. Try to do something that's not the norm. No, don't, don't make your car look like everyone else's. These things look like everyone else's car off the factory floor. So you wanna make it look like, make it look different. There's only five colors as of right now. There's gonna be more. When you walk out to your car and there's three red Model 3s sitting there and you don't know whose is whose, I never have that problem. I've never had that problem with any of my cars. I just like that a lot better. That brake caliper stands out so much more. Although, 
Wouldn't it be cool to have it the same color as the car? It won't look like that. <laughs> but I think a mint green uh, brake caliper would look amazing with this. And uh, maybe that's what we're gonna be doing soon. So get out there, try something different with your car. Tint the windows, or have the windows tinted. Make your roof an actual roof, like it'll look like a metal roof. Do whatever you wanna to do to your car because it is yours, you're paying for it. It's not Tesla's, it's your car. As always, stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'll see you. Yes, we spent, what, a half hour putting this on, but it comes right off. In no time. If I would have left that on and heated it up completely like to 170 degrees, that would have stayed on a lot longer.